Hello everyone, it's Tarsing Rob back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix the errors that are popping like ISV and something 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 and it says like download is corrupt or something like that. So particularly the first thing that you need to do is to download the upcoming updates. Now these updates are really important and do not mind uh, something for showing like this like certainly it sometimes an epic games launcher it gets stuck somewhere and suddenly shows something like this like 0.0, .0 bytes per second that doesn't mean that it isn't working it's just the whole lot of bugs that are in the epic games launcher and causing these all problems so don't mind it it will automatically move up and update so make sure that you first of all update this all because without update it just won't work so update is necessary first thing Alright, and once you have updated that, make sure that you do the following steps. The first thing that you need to do is to go inside your C drive or wherever it could be that you have installed your Fortnite and Epic Games Launcher. Then go inside program files if you're on 64-bit. I probably think that you're on 64-bit because that's where it most probably works. Go inside that. Find a folder called Epic Games right here or you can search over here. Epic, or maybe just in case if you're having really high works that's off so open up epic games inside that you're gonna find Fortnite so open that up inside that you're gonna find Fortnite game and there will be three of these file uh, or folders inside here what you gotta do is that what you have to do is to select these two and once you selected these two do not select the content or you're gonna be messing up everything and just delete them just delete them they are literally of no use now literally they they were of very pretty good use because without those folders you won't be able to play fortnite anymore so literally you have deleted about 200 mbs of fortnite that you have so next thing that you gotta do is to go inside your epic games launcher and verify your game so that it verifies all the files and then it automatically does the thing that it automatically downloads those files again and simply just starts up your game because that's where corruption occurs and that's where those errors pop in so just wait for a second and the next thing would be to do the following steps once you have done that just simply go on to your epic games launcher i'm representing it with images so that you can better understand this and just simply go over to your epic games launcher click on libraries and you're going to find your fortnite oh you're going to find this only and only if you have fortnite installed so the next thing would be to click on the gear icon, the right gear one here. Once you do that, you're going to be popping up, do not mind this launch, big launch green bar. You're going to be mining up with these four options probably. The one would be to verify. Just click on to that and it's going to start verifying. It's going to be coming up to the downloading bar. So make sure that you check it. And once it's done, you can launch Fortnite again so last tip again again i'm telling you guys make sure that you download your updates because updates are severely important without these updates you just won't be able to play anything and if you're facing any sort of those errors i probably think that they are because of the updates that you haven't downloaded so one last thing would be to just completely uninstall and reinstall fortnite because i know that could be a bit of pain in the back but trust me it will work the second thing would be to always after doing all the stuff that you have done make sure that you restart your pc because if you don't do that nothing not the severe changes that you have done in your hardware or drivers are gonna work make sure that you install latest DirectX drivers and also make sure that you install the latest visual c++ components and runtimes because those runtimes are really important they provide the required binary files for your computer games and if you don't uh, install those you're gonna be probably facing a lot more errors after even you if you fix this particular error so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure for any binary error if you're facing make sure that you watch my video about that and thanks for watching